Hello and welcome to Alchemic Illusions, a Thief 2 mission by Comag. That's no briefing, so let's read the text. You've been with the Keepers for a couple of years now, and you've completed a few novice missions satisfactorily to the Keeper High Council. This time they gave you a job a bit more challenging, and now they have. The citizens of Miniport, a small, densely packed town many miles away and somewhat isolated from the city, are up to no good. Not that the Keepers would generally care whether certain people are up to no good or not, but in this case they may soon have the ability to drastically upset the balance of power in the world as you know it. It seems they have captured a giant creature and have employed the eccentric skills of a certain alchemist among them. He is researching the creature and is attempting to formulate a magic potion for the people of Miniport. The thing is, Miniportans are small, tiny in fact, and they've always resented that fact. This potion they have hired their alchemist to formulate has the potential to create giants where midgets once walked. Ever heard of small dog syndrome? Well, imagine what would happen if the dog becomes gargantuan. The dangerous possibilities and ramifications of the situation call for intervention of the first degree. The only problem is that intervention was already attempted. The Keepers have learned of another party which also has interest in stopping the research of the mini portents, and it has haphazardly and foolishly attempted to steal the alchemist's research notes by sending a second-rate thief to do the job. He was, of course, unsuccessful in his attempt, and as such has alerted the mini portents so that they have taken greater precautions in their treacherous plans. That is why the Keepers are sending you. They've seen your skills, and know that you can pull this off. It's up to you to do the job that couldn't be done by the other. And this time you're not just after the research notes, but you must ensure that the mini portents are unsuccessful in their grandiose ideas. Who's most likely to help them be successful? Why, the alchemist himself. You know what to do. Alchemic illusions. The alchemist is getting dangerously close to discovering a magic formula which could transform the mini portents into giants. Feel his research notes so no one can follow the alchemist's footsteps. Of course, the alchemist himself must be disposed of so that he doesn't just begin his research anew. Kill the alchemist. You have to make it out of that city alive to be any good to the keepers. Make it back to the gate you entered the city by. And the mini portents are using a control field generator to help calm and manage the test subject. Just to be sure that absolutely no one follows the alchemist's research, Kill the test subject and take the control field generator. Wow. Okay, I'm doing a lot of assassination here. Don't kill anyone, but kill definitely kill people. The normal don't kill anyone rules are not applying. I guess I'm not Garrett. The keeper assassin. Due to expedient circumstances, by order of the Miniport City Council, for the protection and well-being of all citizens, all city gates shall hereby be closed and barred no later than three hours past sundown. But this order is in full force until further notice. Well, this place is a little small, isn't it? What am I hearing? Uh, getting tired of going after these. You've messed with the wrong man, thief! Ah! What? Come out and face me, villain. There was somebody in the room there? Ah! I can't see him. Oh, that's not the footsteps I was hearing. I'll turn you up soon enough. No use hiding, scum. We always get our man. Don't hurt me! Look there! He's armed! Wow, everybody's... I'll find uh, you! Just you very wait. skinny. <laughs> and small. Are you alright, man? Dear Andre, our city council gets on my nerves like nothing else. Why, just yesterday I ran into Mr. Grint at the market and mentioned that the city's sewers access hatches ought to be locked. Because a few nights ago I had heard strange noises under my house. But he just told me to stop eating so many pickles that they give me bad dreams, and it was just a dream. Anyway, glad to hear your trip is well, and take care. Sewers, huh? Alright, man. I'm not gonna hurt you. I could collect a crate Help! for stacking, Help! but I guess it's Don't not gonna do me much me. good. A crate that I can stand on to get an extra inch in height is not gonna be... Oh yeah, there are sewers there. What if I don't take the sewers? What's out this way? Ooh. Somebody strolling the streets at night? Is someone there? Me. 
Are you alright, ma'am? She's stuck on me. What? God! Unless you can get around the corner. Whoops, so oh well. Do I have a map? I do not. So I don't know where the alchemist's place is. So I'm very brightly lit in this town. Or at least I'm not as good at sneaking as Garrett. There's no more sewer access. Another civilian. Don't walk into me. Help! Help! Damn it! <laughs> All right. Well, well. I guess we'll be starting some body piles. Let's go see what the sewers are like. Ah! You'll be sorry sooner or later. It might be more amenable to a creature of my stature. Come out, and you come back. Oh no, do the mini portents have sewer spiders too? Does sound like it. Whoa! Big sewer spiders. Wow, that thing could eat a dozen mini portents for breakfast. And still be hungry afterwards. Okay, we go north or west. Let's try north. I guess we don't have loot to collect. We're just on here on an assassination mission. Okay, that is not a street I've been on before, is it? It doesn't seem to be. Hmm. <gasps> oh wait. Is this the guy I saw before? No. This is not the guy whose house I've been in before. If all goes as planned, the alchemist will be successful in his research within a few weeks and we shall become kings. I've obtained all the necessary allegiances to implement a rapid takeover plan against our neighboring city of Newtopia. And I myself will assume the crown there, appointing my fellow council members as high commanders and judges if they wish. We've lived in obscurity long enough. We cannot fail. What's in his basement? I guess, or ground floor, I suppose. Ooh. Another person walking the streets. Going further west. <laughs> you follow this point, fellow north. Yeah, city gates are closed. <laughs> oh, they've got the guards. <laughs> oh shit, he's coming back. What do I see there? I'm gonna try to stand up and run, and I can't stand uh, up and run. These old buildings make too much noise. Let's hope he turns left and not doesn't come this way. If he goes back the way he came. He should be all right. Yeah. Speaking of what is up here? Oh, this is this house again. Okay. Well, oh, guards. We do need to deal with. Wow, they're strangely shaped. These mini buttons. Okay. <clears throat> Keep going north, I guess. For lack of any better direction. 
Oh, that's about as north as we're getting. I complained about other places being crap, but wow, these, these <laughs> mini born cities are. <laughs> Is there a guard I'm hearing? Uh, hello? One move ago! Oh no 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 no! Sorry, mate. It was you or me, and I'd rather it be you. Oh, that's a mess. Clean that up. The three great mysticals: Milena, Mariana, and Audriana. Wow, Mariana was. All right, well. what's going on here? We got a prison key due to the optimist's mishap. The guests are now liable to easily escape. Please send over Jacob to patch some cement work between the posts up to, ha up to two hands tall. Thank you, Beasley the tailor. <clears throat> He's instead practicing his singing. Well, he doesn't have anything for me to steal, so I guess I'll just leave him humming, humming away to himself. I mean, what? He can have a he can have a gun. If I can if I can pick this guy up. Wow, it is hard to pick up bodies. There we go. Just a little too low to the ground. Come on. There we go. That'll do. Of course, we'll see if he comes downstairs, but... Uh... Alright. Well, there's a prison. Prison somewhere. Needed repairs. So, oh, we've got some very low roofs here. That's. <clears> hmm. <throat> Keep the guards out of trouble. Lockpicks? I do. Well, oh, this is a difficult door to pick. I guess I'm maybe not as practice as Garrett. Hey, after all, they sent me as an assassin, not as a, uh, a thief or anyone, right? Oh, food. Beautiful. Headley's Journal. I've finally done it. I'm on my own with my own little house. It's not much, but it's my own. I'm trying to maximize my space, and I've got to get that attic more organized so I can make use of it for my shop. I've been trying to get the word out into Elm and Armourer, and I'm skilled, but no one seems to care. The alchemist, however, has approached me and asked me to rent a secure I asked to rent from me a secure iron box to hold the notes for his of his for safekeeping. I was about to tell him that I had no such box until he offered me one thousand a month. That pays my rent in full. What's more, he immediately asked if I could simply keep the notes at my own shop rather than give the box to him. So I lied and said I had just such a box in the attic and his notes would be safe there. Uh, right now they're just in a wooden box, but I suppose I'd better make a real iron box in case he returns soon to check on his papers. Today I learned why the optimist is paying me so much to hold his notes. It seems that a few weeks ago he almost lost them due to an attempted robbery. Word is the thief did not succeed in taking anything at all, but only attempted to steal those notes right out from under the alchemist's arm in his own bed. I have decided to hire a personal guard for the night hours outside my house. Builder knows I can now afford him. I'm paying him 200 a week for the guard duty, which ends up eating up most of my profits from holding the notes. But I think that making nearly 200 a month net just for keeping some notes is still a good deal. And that alchemist is a strange fellow, always muttering about a formula he's trying to create. It seems as he's attempting to make a magic potion to make us all giants. Why would we want that? The notes I'm holding, I've realized, are his research so far on the formula. 
Today, on a longer walk than usual, I overheard some strange noises coming from a distant part of the city. So I decided to make the walk even longer and investigate. Lo and behold, I found the alchemist's house. What more, near to it is a giant holding cage with some giant lizard monster being held there. It saw me and roared out some bellowing green cloud which I ran from for my dear life. When I approached the city council with the information the next day, they brushed me off and told me to mind my own affairs and go make some armor or something. I don't know about this town. I've lived here for a month and a half now and things are getting stranger and stranger. The other night I heard many high-pitched screams from the alchemist's part of town. I better dared not investigate this time. What would mother think if I came home? My friends? I don't know. If I'm going to live here for a long time, I've just got to get to the bottom of the goings-on in this town, starting with the alchemist. And maybe that thief has something to do with it at all. To do with it all. And that monster. I think I'll take another look at it tomorrow night. A monster. So now we know what kind of monster it is. Whoops. Wow. Well, can we get up there? I mean, I guess I can stack crates, right? I guess this is the wooden box. I can just pick the lock in the wooden box, right? If the notes are in here, we should be fine. Alright. Stupendous research notes. Can I read them? Oh, no, that's, that's a crate. I don't want to pick up another crate. I wanted to read my stupendous research notes. I mean, the alchemist. No, I can't read them. Alright, well, we've got more crates there, but uh, I don't think we can get that at them, so... We should leave this guy's house. Alright. So, uh, we have the alchemist's notes now, by pure chance. Kill the alchemist, kill the test subject. I don't want to kill Baruch's, but I guess I have to. I guess I'm not being given a choice here. Whoa! You hit hard for a... Wow! You hit hard for a small guy. Wow. I didn't even see you. I was looking for the guy I could hear, but... Yeah, he's right there. Wow, he hits super hard. Alright, we'll deal with him. They may be mini, but they're not. I don't know, I don't know what I was going to I was trying to make some kind of joke and it wasn't working. Help! Help! Don't let him get me! Alright. More guards out of the way is good. Start a tiny, tiny body pile. Funniest body pile ever. Okay, well, now... Yeah, now, now they're in the way, all right. Oh. Still kind of in the way. Hmm. Can we get past those two? I can, all right. So let's move you somewhere else, maybe. It widens up a bit here. I don't think anybody's gonna. We seem to be knocking out everybody in the street anyway, so I guess leaving bodies in the street is not my primary concern. Great if I could open those windows and just loot stuff out of them. Where am I going? I don't know. Hello. Oh, this seems like an important house. Hello. Seems like a guard. You might see bodies left in the street. Uh. 
But he's definitely coming this way. No, he's turned around and gone back. Okay. Good news. Alright. Oof. These streets are not made for a creature of my size. That's why are we so scared about these tiny people? Why are, we, why are the big people? Why are we... Maybe the formula wouldn't even work. Maybe you could create a race of dinosaur people, not giants. Maybe you, these keepers are getting worked up over nothing. Hmm. I don't think I can, I don't think I can get in the side rooms. Alright, let's have a look upstairs. This could be the alchemist's house, or maybe it's the mayor's house. I don't know, it seems, it seems like somebody important lives here. No? Well, I mean, somebody important lives here, but maybe not of importance to me. Maybe it's just a useful place to hide. As far as I'm concerned. Okay, onward. More guards. Also coming this way. <clears throat> you see that? I guess he's just going back and forth. House is good for something after all. You can leave bodies there. I guess I can put bodies here in the corner. It's fine. I am very lost in this town. What kind of cage? Is that the jail, maybe? It's a locked door. I saw somebody else walking around here. I wasn't sure if it was an archer or a civilian. Sewers. I guess it was west that I didn't go before. I don't know if it's disconnected with where I was. No, it's another sewer hatch somewhere. That's a guard. Mm. Right, they won't come in my direction. I didn't even know there was an alley here, but uh, thankfully they turned down it and revealed that to me. I don't know where I am. I really wish I had a map of this town. Everywhere looks the same. 
There's another gate here. Oh, and another sewer hatch. Alright. Can I do something... Leave a jar as a as a note to a reminder to myself. If I can, if I find it from the other side, I will recognise it that way. Okay. I might get back in those sewers in a minute. Oh, another one here. So is that one a jar, but slightly differently a jar, right? So there's multiple, lots of lots of ways into the sewers. Don't need to worry about fall damage here, do I? <laughs> okay. Now there was a fork back here I didn't take. I should try not be too noisy as well. It's this way, I didn't go. Now we're west and east. Let's go east first. Noises. Which might be more attractive to the alchemists. Here before this was looking familiar. How, how would I tell? Because I think I came up these stairs, right? I don't remember a guard being there. Come this way. Hmm. And now I just came around in circles. Sorry, ma'am, you're in my way. What's that? Oh well. <laughs> it's a guard who's not paying attention. That's what it is. Okay. Maybe that's a prison, but I'm Hearing prisoners now. Nothing. Oh, just a little bit. Okay. Let's leave the door open as a reminder. Okay, I've been in there. 
No? I do have them? Yes, I have. Okay. Right. That must be the prison. Or near here. You're free. Alright, well, if you don't want to be free, I think I can hear the creature. They, uh, does not appear to be asleep. Oh! Is it invisible? Enormous and mostly invisible. I think I'm shooting it in the butt. The good news is it's not a bird. It's it's a weird. Come to Papa now. What's he guarding by? Uh, curse your eyes! This way, we've got trouble! He doesn't have the key to the door. Just one move, Tapper, and you're mine. He tried to attack me through the window. And now he's lost sight of me. He doesn't even have weapons, and he's super. Uh... Hmm. Ah, hey! You'll pet. through window thing works pretty well I think. I'll turn you up sooner or later. I need back Oh he's the alchemist. See the alchemist then, yeah okay. Test journal, test series A, subject dangerous, gas administered, heart bile sample extracted, other samples extracted much information gathered for stupendous notes. Test series B. After much study and material tests, injections given to subject. Subject now mistakenly made translucent. Nonetheless, progress made. Test series C. After much more study and material tests, injections given to prisoners. Prisoners now mistakenly made very small. Opposite effect. Nonetheless, progress made. Ah, the holding cell key. Right, that's for that door. Alright, well, let's let the prisoners out. He was obviously mistreating me. You're free to go, guys. Kill them all? Where do you want to kill them all? Alright, there's the test subject. My god, you know what is going to be the hardest objective here is to get back to where he started, because I have no idea how to get back from where I started. No idea where where I started even is. We have a mine which maybe we should use here.
Oh, the thing, the thing, uh, angry. That's dead now. What's this here? Got a auxiliary control field generator. Alright, that was, I guess we needed that. I think I looked at it. <laughs> Ooh, if I could make it across the rooftops, it might be easy to get back. No, no, I can't get across the rooftops. Oh, well. Uh, Alright, guys. Sorry about you being super small. Not much I can do about that. And the alchemist is dead, so he can't fix it for you. Alright, uh, job done. Let's make it back to where we got in. Where did we even start? Was it south? I think it was south. We're kind of heading north at the beginning, right? Alright, so let's check. Let's try the sewers. Sewers might give us another way to go. Oh, I was on the other side of that window before. Um, I've not been through the sewer hatch. <laughs> At least not recently. Have I been to this part of town? Yes. I think it came, f came from here. Right, this is the guy who was... Is this where the guy who was trying to get me was? Yeah, okay. Cool. Job done. The balance has been saved. The alchemist is dead. His research notes are in our possession. His stupendous research. His test subject is dead. And we have the Barracilla control field generator. We uh, found 100% of the loot and 100% of the secrets. And uh, we killed four people. I guess that was... Two guards and the alchemist and Barakzilla. Alas, poor Barakzilla. Was uh, Alchemic Illusions. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you here soon for hopefully a more more typical deep mission. But uh, that was a uh, entertaining little diversion.